Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting. We are covering everything new at Bath & Body Works today and I even have the brand new online exclusives that just dropped on the website yesterday. These gourmand scents. I know you guys are excited. I am as well. You're probably like, how'd you get those? I made sure to do overnight shipping because I have never been more excited for a launch and I think it was just because it was such a surprise that caught me off guard and it just made things just exciting again. I feel like we always kind of know what's coming at Bath & Body Works, but it's really nice when nobody sneak peeks something and you actually get a real surprise. So we're going to be reviewing these. I also have the candle exclusives from yesterday and the new gingham collection with three new scents. So we're just covering it all today. I also just cut my hair today and I kind of love it. This just feels so drastic to me. I know you guys are probably like, girl, it looks the same, but oh my gosh, it really needed cut. I just kind of wanted my hair to be all one length. And over time from just like styling and heat damage, I feel like the front sides of my hair kind of just were not growing. And so the back was growing really fast, but the front was just, I feel like so short. So I just kind of cut everything off <laughs> and I feel like it looks so much better, so much healthier. I am really happy with it. And I don't know, it just feels so fresh and fun for spring. But yeah, let's get into all these new Bath and Body Works products. We'll start with the online exclusives because I know you guys are really excited for those. Let's do the Ice Lemon Pound Cake first because I feel like this is definitely the one that I was most excited for. I think a lot of us saw this and were like, is this going to be a Bright Lemon Snowdrop? Because Bright Lemon Snowdrop, I have just a spray left because it's a few years old at this point. But this was a scent that came out for a Christmas collection years ago. And it was good. Like, it's one of my favorites. I've had it in my collection and they haven't really done anything like this since. So... I was just like, is this going to be repackaged? Like, I feel like it had to be. But I'm actually quite surprised to say I do feel like it is a little bit different. They are very similar, but I truly feel like this actually smells more like an authentic lemon pound cake than even Bright Lemon Snowdrop did. Like, something about this just smells more cakey and more gourmand. So that was just my thoughts right off the bat is that they are... A little bit different but it's definitely along the same lines like if you like bright lemon snowdrop you're definitely going to like this one i know they did a sweet lemon buttercup if you guys remember the tutti dolce collection that they did um that was like five or six years ago that was such an exciting collection for me that was my first ever pr package i got from bath and body works they sent me this ginormous heart in the mail for valentine's day full of the tutti dolce goodies now they don't really do pr anymore i'm not really sure why i don't know if they there's just too many people in this space now, but I'll never forget that package. So let me go ahead and show you guys like the packaging, the notes and everything, but I just wanted to give those initial first thoughts right off the bat. So what was really weird is that these scents just popped up online randomly yesterday as an online exclusive. And it's just kind of like, okay, like why weren't these in stores with Strawberry Pound Cake? Because they have the same packaging as Strawberry Pound Cake that launched for Valentine's Day. I don't know if they already had these in mind or if they just heard us gourmand girlies being like where's our gourmand scents this spring because <laughs> we kind of miss those we've had a lot of fresh scents this year and tropical but we didn't really have many gourmand so it's just kind of interesting i don't know if they just quickly came up with these if they've had them ready and wanted to surprise us or if they were supposed to go out and maybe miss the mark anyways the notes on the fragrance mist here are sugary glazed icing pure lemon zest and fluffy pound cake and the notes on bright lemon snowdrop are frosted lemon citrus marshmallow fluff and vanilla bean so really close notes for sure i guess the main difference is this is definitely more of an authentic pound cake it literally smells like the starbucks lemon loaves if you guys get those so good that's initially what it reminded me of right off the bat it is so gourmand and i think they did a really good job with this scent it smells so delicious if you guys have been wanting that yummy gourmand lemon pound cake scent here it is the only thing is i will tell you though i did go ahead and wear bright lemon snowdrop today anticipating this coming in just to kind of get back into it get a feel for it this actually lasted me most of the morning and afternoon it's a pretty strong scent honestly and i can tell this one pretty much dissipated 
on me and I can tell it's not going to last quite as long as the Bright Lemon Snowdrop. I mean, we've all kind of noticed there's definitely been kind of a decline in the longevity of the Bath & Body Works mist for sure. So I was really sad about that because this one projects like I got my hair done this morning. My stylist was like, you smell so good. And this is all I had on. I didn't even have any lotion or anything. I just threw this on and went out the door. So this is definitely a lot stronger and this one isn't quite there on strength, but the scent sure is delicious true authentic lemon pound cake so i did end up getting the full set i got the fragrance mist which looks like this i know a lot of you guys don't really care for this packaging it's not their cutest but it's okay i also got the body cream which looks like this i also got the lotion in this one because i wanted to test that out as well i almost think the lotions have a little bit more scent throw to them maybe the body creams have a little bit more of a shea butter scent in them but the lotions seem to be more authentic smelling so that one was just a little bit better and i also got the shower gel and i did try this in the shower and it was just as delicious as the other body care so that is the set of ice lemon pound cake for me it is a winner just wish that it had some more longevity now let's talk about the next scent which i had no idea what to expect from this one because the notes were just so different so this is sweet petal pound cake so this is kind of like a pound cake collection with the strawberry the lemon and now the sweet petal this one has notes of candied rose raspberry swirl and frosted bunt cake so when i first saw this i was like i wonder if this is gonna smell like pink petal tea cake the candle um which we kind of already have that whipped rose latte is so similar to me to pink petal tea cake but this one had raspberry in it, so I'm like, you know, I don't think that's quite it. And then I'm like, maybe it'll smell like champagne sprinkles. That was one of my favorite scents, which we haven't seen back. It came out for a semi-annual sale, and it was just incredible. It literally smells like raspberry birthday cake to me. But unfortunately, this is none of those. I actually am quite disappointed in this one. It's so hard for me to get a read on this scent. I think it is more of a skin scent to me. It's not very strong, but it's just what I was not expecting at all. I personally don't consider this a gourmand. It starts out very fresh. It's supposed to be a candied rose and I feel like that comes through a little bit more as it dries down, but when you first spray it, you're definitely like, I do not smell any cake in this scent whatsoever, but it takes a little bit and then as it dries down, you get a little bit more of the sweetness, but honestly, I did find this to be pretty disappointing. It's not overly fruity either, but it just seems very basic. It doesn't live up to the hype that I had in my head. So personally, I'm not that impressed. I don't know if I will keep this around. We'll have to keep trying it. I even tried the shower gel in the shower and this was almost non-existent i think it's best almost in the lotion than even in the body cream i think you get a little bit of more sweetness out of the lotion which seems to be a theme here but yeah i would say i was pretty disappointed in this one it's i don't think many true gourmand lovers are really going to like this scent so if you're wondering about it I'm pretty much not that excited. So that is like this new gourmand pound cake collection. Let's get into some of the other things I have for body care, which is the new gingham collection that is coming out. Some stores are putting it out, I think this weekend already, but I've been trying these scents, so I do have my thoughts on them. So if you guys are familiar with gingham, this is Bath & Body Works. I guess it's kind of their signature scent because gingham is Bath & Body Works. Like their bags are gingham print. I think the stores used to have gingham print on them. So so this is just like their signature and this is a very fresh floral type of scent and a lot of people really enjoy it. I am not one that loves it, but I guess they decided to make this entire gingham collection. It's actually coming out kind of for Mother's Day. So the first scent that we have, this is called Gingham Gorgeous. So the notes on Gingham Gorgeous actually sound really amazing, but I'm not like obsessed with this one. I'm just not really always into the super fresh scents. So this collection isn't really up my alley, but I still wanted to talk about them because I know a lot of you guys do like more fresh florals so the notes on gingham gorgeous are pink strawberries peach nectar and then peony bloom so it sounds like it would be kind of fruity but actually all of these scents in the gingham collection all do have a base of the gingham so they are very fresh floral I do get the fruitiness out of this one though, and I do think it is pretty. It's a very sweet and fresh kind of berry scent. I do not necessarily pick out strawberry though, 
but it smells like a berry, a fresh berry. Not overly sweet, not overly fruity, but it's nice. I feel like I could definitely bring the strawberry out, maybe pairing this one with Burberry Her. I think that could be a pretty combo, but I wouldn't want to pair anything too super sweet strawberry because I just don't feel like it would mesh very well. But that's kind of my first impressions on the Gingham Gorgeous. Now this one is my favorite of the Gingham collection. I feel like it's the sweetest. So that's why I enjoy it the most. This is the Gingham Vibrant. I do have a body cream and spray in this one. The notes on it are wild blackberries, candied violets, and soft vanilla so definitely notes that I do enjoy and I do feel like this one is a lot sweeter and more creamy than the others it still starts out very fresh very much like gingham in the opening it really does smell like delicious blackberry and you also get a hint of the soft vanilla I've seen people comparing this one to candied violet sorbet and that's probably what it would be the most similar to but I almost think this one it might be almost a little bit sweeter, but I think I prefer the Candy Violet Sorbet over this, but you do get almost that candied violet dry down from it, so it does get pretty sweet, but don't expect a gourmand or like super sickly sweet kind of scent again. These are all very fresh. And then the last one I have is Gingham Fresh. And this one is Juicy Pear, Sparkling Clementine, and Fresh Daisies. And I think a lot of people were wondering if this one was gonna be similar to the Oh, what's that daisy one from the summer called? Like denim and daisies, but I don't think these are similar at all. Denim and daisies is actually one of my least favorite scents that Bath & Body Works has ever come out with. It's super powdery on me, but this one is just very green smelling, very fresh. So this one is definitely not as fruity as the other two, but you do get a little bit of that sparkling clementine note in the background for sure but it's not overly sweet again. I feel like that's a common theme here just to kind of remind you guys. And I don't really smell the pear in this one so much, but I get mostly the daisies and the clementine notes. And then I have one more body care item to share with you. So I finally picked up the Coco Paradise Perfume. This scent has really just blown me away this year for summertime and I just knew I wanted the perfume, but this one came out a little bit later. I just feel like this really smells so expensive and I believe it's actually made by a perfumer who has made scents for like Gucci so it's pretty high end I would say so I did grab the perfume I think I had a 25% off coupon which was really nice but this one just smells like literally a luxury resort it's very fresh coconut a little musky and you do get some like very slight citrusy almost orange notes in it it is so beautiful and it smells like summer. It smells like vacation. I think I'm definitely gonna wear this a lot this spring and summer. So that is all of the body care that I picked up. Let's get into the candles. So yesterday in stores and online, they had an exclusive candle drop, kind of like how they did during the fall time where they had like the bacon candle, like a Thanksgiving candle. So they brought out two candles that are very limited and they brought them in stores and online. Online sold out so fast. So they're definitely limited. They're doing another launch with like a rose ice cream something and a mint chocolate chip ice cream, which is gonna be April 5th. So mark that in your calendars. The Bath & Byrx website usually restocks at 5 a.m. CST, if you guys wanna know. Um, but I picked these up in stores. So the first one, this is called PB&J Ice Cream. Such a unique scent name. Sorry, the sun literally just went down, so it got a little dark in here. The notes are raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter sauce. And when I initially smelled this, I definitely smelled the same raspberry that's in the Wildberry Jam Donut Candle. So if you like that one, you're definitely going to like this. But I saw someone else uh, say that this smells like Wildberry Jam Donut mixed with pumpkin peanut brittle. And I would totally agree with that. Because it definitely has the same peanut butter that's in pumpkin peanut brittle. So it's kind of like a mashup of those two candles, which are two of my all-time favorites. So I knew this was going to be a favorite for me, um, but it's definitely hit or miss with people. If you're not usually into these type of scents, it's probably a skip. Because I've seen some people comment like that they hated this scent, that they gagged when they smelled it, but 
I think it smells incredible, so I'm really excited about this one. The other one that came out is the Limoncello and Unicorn Sprinkle. So this is kind of a mashup candle between the Limoncello and Unicorn Sprinkles. If you guys picked up the Unicorn Sprinkles during Candle Day, you're probably familiar with that scent. It's actually quite tart um, and very fruity. It's not what you would really expect. So this one has notes of pink raspberries, tangy Sorrento lemons, and fresh sugar cane. And instantly, this did remind me a lot of Unicorn Sprinkles, but if I could compare this to something, it honestly kind of smells like a fruit roll-up. <laughs> I know that's weird to say, but if you, like a fruit punch, fruit roll-up is what this reminds me of. It's really good though, very sweet, so I had to go ahead and pick this one up too. And since there was a candle sale too, I think it's still going on, only $12.95, which is an incredible price, I had to finally pick this up because this is so expensive. This is the Feel Loved Champagne and Cupcake Candle. This retails for $32. So $12.95 is probably the best price you're going to get on this one. This essentially is the... I think it's called birthday cake scent or vanilla birthday cake. That's what this is, but that's one of my faves. Literally smells like a vanilla cake. It's so delicious. The notes are fluffy cake with vanilla frosting and pink sprinkles. This one does have a fun like ceramic lid too, so that's why it costs more. Um, I think this one is sold out online, so you will have to get this one in stores. My store still has tons left because no one's paying that much for a candle. And I also grabbed a backup of the blueberry marshmallow bar. I've been really enjoying this candle. It has notes of sugar, blueberries, sweet vanilla, and toasted marshmallows. It smells so good. It's like a blueberry rice crispy treat. So yummy. So just had to grab another one because I'm almost finished with mine. So that is everything I picked up. I honestly haven't seen any more sneak peeks of what's to come. I think they're going to be starting the summer arrivals very soon, but the gingham collection is going to be hyped for the next few weeks. I know a lot of you guys ended up ordering the online exclusive collection, so let me know your thoughts when you guys get it. I'm curious to see what everyone else is going to say, but yeah, the Iceland Pound Cake is definitely the winner for me, but the Pink Petal, just not really feeling that one, unfortunately. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.